Welcome guys, Simitar here, and it's time to summarize the 2K18 modern year for Skyrim, talking about the most original, qualitative and sometimes just essential mods that were released in 2K18. Combat, skills, quests, followers, immersion, the best 10 mods of the year in different categories are here. Let's go! Number 10. Locational Damage SKSE plugin Locational damage system exists in many modern games, as it is greatly improving combat, making it much more tactical and enjoyable. Sadly, Skyrim didn't have it. Several older mods implemented it, but the scene here was that literally each and every of these mods was very buggy at least and could destroy your save at worst. This mod not only brings detailed locational damage system, head, arms, feet and heart and their injuries and knockdowns, but it is also 100% stable and it doesn't even take an ESP slot, because it is a pure SKC plugin, also meaning it will be compatible with each and every mod you may have, not causing any issues. Besides that, it is also fully configurable through the ini file to adjust it to your personal taste. Excuse me, sir. I don't normally do this, but, um, have you got a moment to talk? Number 9. Lucien, fully voiced follower. Followers is the most, well, sworn mods category. Anyone can create a character, save its preset in race menu, add fancy armor and BAM! Follower mod ready. But sometimes the true gems are being made still. Lucien is a follower of the quality level near the Inigo and similar well-known follower mods. He is not just fully voiced, but has more than 2000 lines of dialogues, with his own tempered story and questline. Similar to Inigo, Lucien is not just a sworn to carry your burdens machine. He has own thoughts about many events, he reacts and comments the combat and places and even chats with your other followers, including Inigo and some more modded ones. Besides that, Lucien has own personality, which you can change as the time spent together passes, making a real man from a shivery guy. And now just take a look on a few examples of his behaviors and voice acting to make a better understanding. You look haunted somehow. As though you've seen something terrible. Tell me, please. What did you see? Uh, a dragon? You saw an actual living dragon? But that's impossible, surely? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to question your reliability. If you say you saw a dragon, then who am I to doubt you? But don't you think if a dragon destroyed Helgen, that the people nearby should be warned? Isn't there a village right on its doorstep? I saw my life flash before my eyes. It was much too short. Was all that adventure in disguise worth it, Grandpa Lucian? Why, yes, my lad, it was. Didn't get brutally murdered once. So I'd introduce myself. I'm Lucian. I am pleased to meet you. My name is Inigo. Pleased to meet you too, Inigo. I think we're going to make a great team. Me too. I hope so anyway. Number 8. The Brotherhood of the Old Maybe the most underrated mod released this year. Brotherhood of Old is a quest mod of really great quality that is wrapping around Dark Brotherhood after you finish its vanilla questline. It has thrilling storyline with non-linear structure when you will begin to recruit new brothers and sisters trying to rebuild the Brotherhood to a new glory and protect it from a new threat. It offers 24 quests in total, giving you different choices on almost each step, and the fate of the Brotherhood now depends only on you. This mod gives you a really great feeling of Finnish Dark Brotherhood questline, gives you a chance to be its actual leader, and has a great voice acting. Well, just listen yourself a bit. Listener, you have served this family well. Every day, more and more children pray to their mother. The death of the Emperor has made the name of Sithis feared once again throughout the land. But we are few, too few to answer so many prayers. Sir, how do you suggest we do that, listener? 
I'm liking this already. Any idea who we are going to grab? I've heard of them. Jezakar and Majira, right? They're ruthless. They'll fit right in. Your family members are right here, child. The Brotherhood is your true family. But it is a fair question. The three of you attacked and killed Lucian Lachance, and you murdered my children at Jaden Hall. Number 7. Experience. Experience is a simple mod with a simple name, but a complex project at the same time. It completely overhauls vanilla leveling system, so skills progression no more gives you level ups, but instead, as in classic RPGs, you're gaining experience points for making great amount of various actions completing the quests, exploring new places, clearing the forts and dungeons and of course killing the enemies. In addition, it will be compatible with any other mods that adds quests, uh, enemies, new lands and more, as it is once again a pure SKSE plugin. Number 6. Caffeine EMB Technically EMB is a graphics mod, yeah, so it doesn't really belong here on the first side, but EMB itself is the hands down most important graphical improvement for Skyrim. And really good EMB preset will add a ton to your gameplay joy. Caffeine EMB is hands down the best EMB preset released this year. It is ambient, cinematic and really well balanced. Besides that, it is very performance friendly and has loot support. Meaning, there are a lot of visual presets inside the main preset you can change anytime in-game to fit your taste better. Number 5. Truly Absorb Dragon Souls. Another tiny but pretty innovative mod. One of that mods you think when you see it, why the hell this wasn't done before in ages? This mod empowers your character each time he or she hunts a dragon. During the mod installation, you can choose which attribute and on how much it will be increased for each dragon slate. You can boost health, magicka, stamina, carry weight, armor, resistances, movement speed and shouting cooldown. You can choose any of attribute boosts to have, have one or have all together and with different bonus values, fully adjustable. This is such a simple but such an immersive improvement to your game. Making dragon hunting finally have sense as in vanilla game this process was just a silly way of earning gold selling dragon bones. Number 4. 3PCO – Third Person Camera Overhaul – Smooth Camera Follow I have showcased this mod on my channel separately earlier. What can I add here? It is really a revolutionary gameplay mod, not more or less. It improves third-person camera, so it works in a way how modern AAA third-person games are working. Camera now is not a dull static one, it is dynamically moving around the character smoothly based on character's position in a game world, giving much more aesthetically pleasant and realistic view, especially in combat. It works for everything in third-person, moving, fighting and even third-person actually shooting. Now the drums, please. Number 3. Skyrim Supplemental Patch This is the first mod in this whole list I will not be actually showcasing in regular meaning. Its impact is unnoticeable on the first glance, but the more you play, the more you will see its effects. Skyrim Supplemental Patch is a comprehensive, let's say, correcting project that mostly focuses on misplaced items and objects, fixing incorrect position of hundreds such cases in a game world. This is insanely monotone, dedicated work of its author to bring Skyrim visually looks to its perfection. Emis literally stands close to bug fixing projects like Unofficial Patch. Number 2. Andromeda – Unique Standing Stones of Skyrim Vanilla Standing Stones were, well, let's be honest, most of them were just a bad mess intended to be a mythical, unique additions to your character powers greatly affecting roleplay part of the game, most of them were just given static, boring, numerical bonuses and sooner or later becoming absolutely useless. No more. Andromeda is a mod from biggest and most dedicated Skyrim mod author ever. 
Ina Shen, author of Ordinator Apocalypse and many other mods. Andromeda completely changes all standing stones, giving two completely new abilities to each one and a new greater power as well. At the same time, all new abilities are not only lore friendly and immersive, but <laughs> I would say even more lore friendly in most of cases than in original game. Andromeda gives really unique touch to your game, and not only deeply immerses roleplay, but first and main scene adds amazing depths and new variations to your character builds. Number 1. Project AHO If I would be making my top 10 quest mods video now, I would place these amazing mods in top 3, hands down. Project AHO was released only this year, but it is simply one of the best, dedicated, qualitative and simply brilliant in everything quest mods ever made for Skyrim, as well as one of the best stories made by fan developers I ever played. Project AHO is a huge quest mod, greatly inspired by Morrowind and designed in Dwemer and Dahmer style. It is a thrilling story about hidden Telvanni settlement where you will go through absolutely everything possible. Slavery, mercenary work, time and space travels and a huge, solid, amazingly well-written plot. You will explore incredibly beautiful world space, open scary thrilling secrets, face completely new enemies and decide the fate of this whole little world. The design of levels is stunning, the story is deep and non-linear, the voice acting and music are just top-notch, and the overall feeling of Morrowind is simply touching you by hand. Easily and without any doubts, the best mod of this year, an amazing journey you should definitely take. The sooner, the better. Sure. Wow. That was some great year and a great pleasure for me guys to make this video. I am extremely thankful to each and all of you for this year, your comments, compliments and your critics. I want to say additional thanks to my Patreon supporters. You guys are saviors of the channel and just the legends and I can never thank you enough. Happy holidays everyone! I will upload one or maybe two big videos this year, but as for Skyrim, See you in 2019. Scimitar Gaming here, signing out.